Hi guys, it's Peyton from Radis Reptiles, and today I am with Liz Liz, the Crested Gecko, and we're gonna do a tank tour, as you can see up there. Okay. So the tank we have here is a ZooMed skyscraper terrarium. It is 36 by 18 by 18, which is a 50 gallon. So starting with the floor, the substrate is Reptibark, which they love. They really like it. And I'm going to change it to Eco Earth because it doesn't hold humidity as well, but it's fine. Then, so I have this driftwood piece that they don't really use, but it still looks nice. There's this aquarium plant that um ha has live plants, I guess. And you got that from Walmart. Yeah, we got that from Walmart. And then right here we have a log hide, which they really like. They, they use that a lot. Then we have this little Zilla hide that's actually really small for crested geckos, but they can still curl up into it. Okay, so up here I have, um, this is not bioactive. This is just a artificial terrarium. We have a, a piece of wood holding up most of the branches and or the leaves. Um, the leaves are from Zoomed and they really like to climb in them. It's very dense. I also have another crusted gecko in here, Exotic, but I'm not sure where she is. Yeah, she's in here. And by the way, Exotic just shed. Right here's a piece of her shed. It's really cool. They eat their own shed. And in fact, their shed has enough nutrition to keep them with full of nutrients for their lives. That's really cool. Okay, and I heard that you wanted to do something or a project or something with your brother with this this next um, tank over here. Can you explain what might happen with this, like potential ideas? Okay, so right here, this is a Thrive 20-gallon corner tank. He wants to put a blue-tailed skink, right? He wants um, to put a few blue-tailed skinks Some type of skink. Here. You know, I don't even remember. I, I need to double-check with the pet store, but... Um, there's some type of skink that you can have a couple in here, and they're really cute, so. Well, he's, and, Liz Liz. and Liz Liz really likes being handled. This is Liz Liz. She's a yep. crested gecko, obviously. Yep. She's so cute. Okay, anyways, back to this. So, I'm not sure what substrate he's planning to use, but I'm pretty sure he's going to put blue-tailed skinks in here, or, an, or another type of skink. So, that's basically all. Oh, the lighting we have here for our crested geckos, because there's an air vent right up there. So, the air vent, uh, and it's in the summer, so brings out cold air which it gets probably 68 67 mm -hmm. uh, i think you're right so it's pretty cold so right up here i have a zoomed lamp fixture and it has a 25 watt nano bulb by the way guys if you have really kids like around and you get like geckos for your kids for like a birthday present or something make sure that they do not touch this bulb it gets way too hot and it is not children yeah, it's pretty hot <laughs> it's pretty hot so when you're don't touch the black part so make sure you hold it by the cord or something because it gets pretty hot i would say it probably gets up to 100 degrees up there and also can you explain i heard they burn out every a couple months or so can you explain about that yeah they burn out pretty often i'd have to say um so we get so they burn out every three or four months so um, and they're not that expensive. I think they're $4, so it's not that bad. Also, can you, can you, like, explain, do you, I heard many people online talking about how crested geckos are, like, the number one best gecko for beginners. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that statement? Yes. But I, also people say leopard geckos, but the reason I think crested geckos are because they don't need live feeder insects. But it's a great treat. They love them a lot. So we get them, we get her and exotic crickets every week, every week yeah, or two Yeah, every weeks. week. We get them um, a dozen large crickets, and they really like it. But in their food, which I have rapashi food, they really like it. There is insect larva, fruit, and a lot of nutritional stuff for crested geckos. So, yeah, it's really good for them. She's really healthy. I've had her for about two years, and I've had exotic for a year. They're both females. But, yeah, they're just really wonderful pets. I love crested geckos. And here's a thing they like called the human branch with your arm. They really like to climb up that. So yeah, crusty geckos are amazing pets. I would definitely recommend for a children that wants a pet. Yeah, they're amazing. Well, that's all for today, guys. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye. Bye.